Hey everybody, it's Dan O'Brien, WBL Coaching. Thanks for visiting the channel today. This is a first of a two-part series I wanna do on five daily disciplines that if you really commit to doing the work that I'm gonna cover over these two videos, I promise, I'm convinced, you will double or even triple your real estate income, but you gotta be willing to do the work. You gotta make the commitment. Before we dive into the content, just a quick reminder, if you're not already a subscriber, we'd love to have you subscribe. Turn on the notifications. We put content up three times a week. It's fresh, it's relevant, it's going to help you drive your business, everything from marketing to tech tips. My area of expertise is gonna be helping you as a 30 year broker, team builder myself, helping you grow your business, whether you're building a team, running a brokerage, or you're an agent just trying to take your business to the next level. All right, so let's dive in. Two of the five daily disciplines to help you 2X or even 3X your business. I have uh, resources for you, so hang in here with me till the end. I will tell you where you can download. I'll point along the way the content that I have for you as bonus downloads today. So without further ado, I'm gonna cover the five. Remember, this part one is the first two. We'll cover the other three uh, disciplines in the next video, but let me just go over what all of them are. Number one, a morning well-being practice. Number two, being an industry and local market expert. Number three, lead generation, attracting new business, one to two hours, five days a week. You need to design and follow a perfect week for you, which means controlling your schedule, and I'm going to help you with serious tips on how to make that happen. That's what I find one of the biggest issues for real estate agent is that the business is running them instead of the other way around. And number five, I'm gonna go over the key sales skills that you have got to master and you may need to work on something on that list on a daily basis. And if you master that, it's gonna help you. So number one, your morning well-being practice. Now here's the deal. If you're not a morning person, I'm gonna try to convince you, you've got to figure this piece out. You gotta get up, even if you start your day a little bit earlier because you work later. You need to take the first hour or so of the day, at least 30 minutes if it's not an hour, that you're going to, to, to basically set up and design a morning routine, a ritual that helps get you in the right mindset for the rest of the day. So what I don't want you to do is jump up out of bed in the morning, immediately go to your phone or your computer and start uh, jumping into what do I have to do today and so on. So here's what I mean by that. You have to design a ritual that works for you. It's sacred, okay? And let me share with you what it can be. Anything from setting, getting up and meditating, prayer, and re doing prayer, reading a book, doing an exercise, working out, finding something that's going to get you into a good overall mindset, a success mindset for the day. I highly recommend checking out Hal Elrod, MiracleMorning.com. He also has a podcast. Great, inspiring story. Lots. If you don't, if you haven't heard about it, I'm sure you will. Well, you will now because I just told you about it. But he has a really great, simple acronym to remember, which is, this is what he's known for: is the Miracle Morning, is his daily routine that helped him through. Very inspiring story. Coming back from uh, near death uh, and what what it did for him, and he shared it with millions of people around the world. It savers. S stands for silence, prayer, or meditation, as I mentioned. A is affirmations. V is visualization. E is exercise. R stands for reading, and S is for scribing or journaling. Now, you can take an hour and do all of those. He even has a way to show you how to do each of those things for one minute and just kind of handle 10, 15 minutes in the day. The bottom line is just start. Find out what works for you. Uh, check out those resources that I'm mentioning. For me, I do one of these three or all three of these activities, at least two of these activities. I do meditation every morning. I like listening to guided meditations. It's a great way for me to just get in the right mindset. I currently, and it, my go-to is brainsync.com, Kelly Howell, highly recommend checking that out. There's so much online. There's so many apps that can help you with meditation. If, you, if you're telling me, hey, I can't do it, Jan, I can't slow my mind down, then you need it more than anyone else, okay? So check that out. You can get apps like Calm and Headspace. Just Google it. You'll find something that works for you. The next thing I may do, if one of the next two is either yoga, doing some stretching, exercise, 
I recently discovered at the beginning of the year yoga with Adrienne. Absolutely love her yoga channel on YouTube. She got she put a 30 day breath challenge together. So if you haven't done yoga in a while or you just want to get started, uh, you can go to her channel and there's stuff for beginners as well. But it just gets your body moving and breathing. So for me, it's meditation, yoga, and if it's not yoga, it's going and taking a walk, getting outside, getting some fresh air. You do your morning routine, and then it's going to be your personal hygiene time, eating a good breakfast. Now you can sit down, take a look at what you're gonna do for the rest of the day if you haven't already done that uh, the, the night prior. Number two, you have to be an industry, a real estate industry, and a market expert. Let me explain what I mean by that. Well, first of all, why? It's your career. If you're listening to this, uh, if you're doing real estate and it really is your career, you have to be an expert in the everything that everything that has to do with real estate, from transactions to understanding what's going on in the housing market on a national level, all the way down to your local market. I believe when you have this knowledge, the more knowledge you get, and the most knowledge, the best knowledge you get is with experience. If you're listening and you're newer in the business, experience is going to come. So you, I'm going to share with you for everyone ways that you can heighten your level of expertise because you're going to do some very strategic things and you're going to work a little bit on it every single day. Remember, these are the five daily disciplines that you need to do every day to double or triple your income. All right, so I already covered morning routine. We're on be that industry expert. When you have knowledge, you get confidence. Confidence leads to the confidence to pick up the phone and talk to people that you know, as well as leads, people that you don't know. When you have something to say, it's easier to pick up the phone. They're great conversation starters when you feel confident about programs that are available, uh, something new that's happening in the industry, news that's impacting our industry, and what your take on it is, and of course, what's happening in the market. Inevitably, when you talk to someone, whether you know them or not, they're going to get around to how is the market, and you need to be able to confidently answer that question. It also helps you with being a great content creator. When you have that level of expertise, especially around what's happening with market trends and so forth, you're able to create videos like we do here on our channel or go check out our O'Brien Morabi team channel where we post our videos for our team. And I do a monthly market update on what's happening. Um, we'll be, I'll be doing some videos in the future to share with you exactly how to make that type of stuff happen. So being a content creator, getting more information out there is going to make you that go-to trusted advisor. Now you also have to know all facets of the real estate industry. So I'm talking about what I just mentioned, stats, trends, what's happening in the economy, what's happening nationally with financing. And right now, of course, as I record this video in January 27th of 2021, What's in the news is getting the coronavirus under control so that the economy can start rebounding. All of that is impacting our real estate industry. You have to know about that. You also have to know about real estate transactions from A to Z. Um, everything that you need to do. Uh, I'll tell you in a moment how you're going to be able to get all this done and how you fit a little bit of this into your schedule each day. So over time, you really do become that trusted advisor in addition to the experience you're gaining in your day to day transactions. You've got to understand laws, regulations, uh, and then lastly, the types of transactions. So not all real estate transactions are the same. You've got everything from residential, different types of residential properties where you have to know the ins and outs of them, to new construction, property management, commercial, if you're working on that. I think we all better get ready to start thinking about, I don't think it's going to be anytime soon, maybe by the end of the year, more about short sales and foreclosures, REOs new programs that are out there. If you haven't heard of them, check, check out thinktrio.com or EasyNock. Uh, I have the links here for you. Go check it out. Uh, I actually have it in one of the resource downloads, all the things I'm talking about here today. Hang in here just a little longer. I'll tell you how to get those downloads. Do you understand how iBuyers and investors work? Are you familiar with the 1031 exchange process and how probates work? I just go through all of that to help you realize that maybe there's some areas in the real estate business that you need to work on. So identify what they are and you're going to put some of this into your day so that over time you're building on this skill set. Now, how do you do that? Number one, for housing stats and trends, you got to get up every day after you do your morning routine and look in the MLS. Go check out your MLS. Every MLS I've ever looked at, and I've been doing this almost 30 years now, 
always has a stats area. What just got listed? What expired? What happened? What are the trends in the last month, the last seven days? Look at that every day and you'll start to get comfortable with it. Learn what your MLS or your association has for understanding the stats. I just got licensed in Florida. I have been checking out. Florida Realtors has amazing stuff and availability on getting up to speed with understanding stats down to a zip code, a city, and so on. I'm gonna be eating this information up. Why? Because I don't know everything about the real estate market here. That's what I'm gonna be doing. So that's at Florida Realtors as an example. So your state association, your local association, on down to title companies, there's third party sites that could be providing the data to you. You need to get that data coming to you and learn how to interpret it so that you can uh, explain it to an average person. I highly, highly, highly recommend keeping current matters. Now I have a link here for you. It'll be in our downloads package as well. This is a 14 day uh, free trial. It's our affiliate link and full disclosure, what you get from that is um, a 14 day free trial. I'm going to tell you why I like it. I use it every day. Best investment I've made in a very long time for my personal real estate business. You'll get a $25 gift card if you sign up. We get a month free. You can turn around. You're going to love it so much you'll share it with other people like I do. Here's what I love about uh, Keeping Current Matters. You're able to get a monthly market report. This is how I have been getting so up to speed with what's happening on a national level. They produce a monthly market report designed for us as professionals with charts and graphs, statistics, and content on what to share with your client. So every month I take the three or four or five of those slides, combine it with what's happening locally for my Las Vegas market update. I'll be doing it here in the Tampa area for Florida as well. And I record a video. I feel confident doing it because I'm getting up to speed because I use these resources. Now, Keeping Current Matters has even more, a daily blog post, social media post, so much stuff that you can use in your business. You're gonna love it. Other ways that you can stay on top of what's happening in our industry is you've got to subscribe to news channels. You've got to subscribe to real estate professional channels like Inman, RIS Media. Realtor.com has a lot of great content. Housingwire.com and DSnews.com are two of my favorites for understanding what's happening in the mortgage industry. The DS is default servicing, so as things start changing potentially with defaults, uh, foreclosure activity, short sales, but they don't only report on that. Check out other real estate national resources. CNBC has a great real estate area, but get the information coming to you, whether you subscribe. Some of them have page subscriptions for the better content. You might be able to set up RSS feeds. I have a link in our notes, our downloads for you, where you can go find how to create a feed on, your, on an app or on your computer so that you can have all that information, the headlines coming into you and save you time. Again, you'd be scanning these things daily seeing if there's anything that you need to be on top of uh, and that's going to help you be that trusted advisor. All right, so thanks for hanging in here with me for part one of our my two-part series on the five daily disciplines to double or triple your income. As I promised, there's a link here for you to be able to go download a resource guide right here that is going to have uh, two things, a meditation and other resources for and links and, and things to, for you to check out to help you create that, that daily ritual, your morning routine for you. And secondly, a link with all these resources that you can go check out to uh, be, be better at uh, becoming an industry expert, okay? Go take some classes, do what you need to do to get up to speed with that. So check that out. Uh, there's actually a link below here in the uh, description below the video. And don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in part two where I'll go over the other three of the five daily disciplines. Thanks for listening. Uh, uh, uh.